show. I've got my information here. I'll share it at the end. But I wanted to show some clips of this in action. Um, and I'm a, a big proponent of you're going to see some good stuff and you're going to see some stuff that's not great either. Okay. So a lot of this is um, three by one, three by one version. Let's see if I can move this here a little bit so I can see the whole screen. Okay. So a lot of this is three by one because we felt that we ran a lot of three by one bubble and a lot of teams were chasing the bubble. And so what, what happened is if this guy flies out, we've got a lot of grass in this area. So this is a three down team. This guy's kind of in no man's land. They also got this guy coming off the edge. So what we did is we kind of treated it um, almost like this was the six man in the box. And a lot of times it just turned into play action for us. So let me go ahead and play this. Okay, and you'll see, here's a good example. We're meshing, meshing, meshing. He sees this guy chasing the bubble. He right now is deciding to throw the slant on this. And you might be saying, how does he know to throw the slant? He just sees this grass. He sees this guy chasing. He sees this grass. And he does a heck of a job of anticipating this throw. But he's throwing the grass, not a particular guy. And you'll see him coming open. He clutches for a second. But he sees grass. And again, a lot of opportunity for run after the catch on this. Um, you see a couple clips from this next team. They played us. Um, they played a lot of man. This is not a man clip here. This is just quarters. All right, this is a third and two situation. Okay, so if you look at it, they're four down, four two. This guy is a box guy. We got to have something over here in case we have man, in case we have zone. They played a lot of four two cover one against us. So I wanted to make sure I had some man answers in case this guy was a box player. So here's our surf tag. Okay, the bubble doesn't really get very good width here. I'd like him to get wider. Okay, but essentially we're playing two on one with this guy. Okay, get a little rub through here. Okay, he should be rubbing the corner. Now, if this wasn't third and two, you see this corner driving, I would love to take a shot over top. It's a perfect example. But even so, we got a window to throw a slant in there. Okay, we're rubbing off that guy right underneath. Okay, easy pitch and catch for the quarterback. All right, same team later. All right, here's exactly what you're looking for. You're looking for man coverage. All right, so you got man across the board right over here. They're a little softer, but you got straight man. We also, I want to note too, did some of this out of pistol just to kind of hide some tendencies as well. It's just zone out of pistol. Quarterback's opening this way. He's reading this guy. He feels like he's a box guy. We're working this side over here. All right, again, he's in the box, okay? This is our sixth guy, 4-2, reading the backside inside linebacker. He feels like he's committed. All right, we're throwing our concept. All right, now, okay, he doesn't love it. He's not coming to that break, okay? When in doubt, okay, we still got to check down. Get it out in space to one of your guys and let him make a play. He's still one-on-one. -on -one. So even though it's not a great play, okay, give him a chance to make a play. There's your check down. All right, later on, okay, so here's one of the bad. Okay, this is a completion, okay, but here's one of the bad. And this is one of the, uh, the times where I would love to throw this. Okay, we're getting down towards the goal line. We're expecting man coverage, whether it's zero or one. Looks like they got a safety here, so we're seeing 4-2 cover one. Okay, perfect opportunity. Get your rub routes, get your picks, whatever you want to call them. Okay, so quarterback decides he's going to throw the ball. Okay, we get a good rub through here. Here's the corner chasing the slant. Okay, he should, as soon as he clears this, put on a rope. This guy's walking in the end zone. So this is not a great read on this. Okay, that corner's soft. You should put it on right now. Now, do we complete this ball? Sure. But that ball should go to the slant on that or the guy who's going to end up wide open in the corner right there. But that should go to the slant all day. All right, so kind of look at what we got here. So I'm seeing man across the board too high. Coach, did I did I miss you uh, teaching how he's reading that? Like, when is he looking vert? How, what's telling him not really, to he's really it. not throwing the vert uh too often all right so the, the post snap read let me go back to that because that's a good question 
All right, so he decides this guy is a box player, okay? No matter what RPO we have on, okay? And, and this rub route, okay, is no different than anything else. We're reading inside grass, this area here, which would be our slant, okay, to the outside grass, which would be our bubble. Well, what would really get us to throw this corner out is if I see this, we see man coverage, and if I were to see this corner really driving on this hard, okay, or this guy coming off him really hard, then I could get in the corner. I'm probably not throwing that a whole lot. Within the progression, I'm looking for this inside guy to the bubble. Inside guy to the bubble, one, two. Okay, now here's your look against, you're going to see man across the board. They're in too high. That means we got a five-man box. All right, well, let's see if the quarterback makes a good decision. They're four-man, they're four, man, four one. Okay, hand the ball off. Still got a good play. Okay, we don't block this particularly well, especially up front. We got push on the nose. Okay, he's in our, he's in our face. He's driving us back, but it's still a five-man box. Hand the ball off. And let your guy do his thing. All right, so here's that out of uh, two by two. Okay, and this is a good and bad example, I guess. I guess the play is a good example. I'm going to go ahead and run it, and then I'll talk about the bad here. So we run it out of two-man. Okay, over here we're running our slant under concept. We're a little rub slant. Okay, he's rubbing, he should be rubbing through his inside shoulder. Slant should be coming underneath. Now, what happens is this. Okay, if you watch, they kind of reverse it. Which, to be honest, is a good play if you're trying to throw the wheel. But to me, that's much lower of a percentage play. Okay, if you're in zero straight across the board, that throw is a lot harder than trying to throw a slant right here with all this grass. So they kind of messed this up in that that slant should be coming underneath. Now it worked out, sure, but this is a lot easier throw to throw the slant. But a really good answer against zero on the goal line. Okay, third and three. Okay. A lot of times you get some sort of like four, two, cover one. Okay, this time you can see there's no cover down. So we're reading this guy. We're feeling like he's probably a box player. I kind of stop it right here. He's in no man's land. We could probably hand the ball off here and be fine because he's not getting to the running back and making a play. But he decides there's no way that he can stop either the slant or the bubble. So we decide we're going to go ahead and pull it. He's looking for the window to throw the slant to the bubble. And he's anticipating. And you can see, as we play it, ball's out now. Okay, as soon as he crosses his face into the next window, we, we're pulling this guy out, we're throwing the slant underneath. So it was a really good third down play for us when we anticipated man coverage. Um, it was really good in like those third and third and two, third and three, third and four situations. Uh, it was also good for us in um, like goal line situations in zero or one. I think I got one more here, okay? And this is kind of a, a bad example, but exactly where you want to use this concept. Uh, we got four, two, cover zero across the board. Okay, great opportunity for the man beater. So this guy should be pulling it out. We should get a rub through this guy. Now, this play doesn't work out. Still love the concept. We're rubbing through. This is a pretty good rub here. Going to the corner. Look at all the grass to, to throw this. Okay, it's almost like play action on the goal line. I got a bunch of grass to throw it. Okay, now this is why we work on hands catching. Okay, lets it get in his body. Okay, so instead of being six, okay, we end up dropping one on the goal line for touchdown. Okay, still a good concept. I'll live with that any day. I think that's, yep, we're back to top. So that's all I got. Um, like I said, um, one of our, our best man answers. Um, I think it's important that no matter uh, what you're doing, you got to have an answer in RPO game for man coverage. Um, you also have to have an answer when those safeties start spinning down. Um, one of our answers is play action off that, taking some shots. Um, so I think those are some important things if you major in RPOs. Um, I also wanted to go ahead and put my information up there um, on Twitter. If you want to go ahead and shoot me an email, 
Um, I get on here with uh, Coach Salas all the time. I love talking ball. So if there's any other coaches out there that are, are interested in anything we talked about this evening, uh, feel free to go ahead and reach out to me. Um, I, I love to communicate, meet some new guys. Um, Twitter's a great tool for us to go ahead and, and get out there and reach out to some guys that you wouldn't normally. Uh, and, and, and like I said, all the stuff that I've learned, I've stolen from somebody, whether it's somebody I've coached under um, or whether I've somebody I've met at a clinic or somebody I've met online. Um, so I think it's a great tool. So I, I welcome anyone. Go ahead, send me an email, send me a, a message on Twitter, and, and let's talk some ball. So um, I don't know, if Coach, if you had any questions for me, anything else you wanted to go over? No, you did a great job again, man. I, I just want to jump on your back on uh, – obviously, you can tell Coach is a brilliant offensive mind, and he really does love to talk ball. So if you're one of those guys that want to just bounce I, – I, I never talk to Coach – that I don't come away with an idea that I steal that makes me better. So uh, definitely hit him up on Twitter or set, shoot him an email because he really does, he loves to talk ball and he is brilliant. And you're going to pick up, you're going to steal an idea for him, even if he doesn't steal one from you. So uh, Tom, great job again. Uh, obviously you're the man when it comes to RPOs and I appreciate you coming on and hey, doing it. I appreciate you having me on here anytime, man. Thank you, buddy.